Hi, and welcome to this 4 and a half coffee break. My name is Peter van Avertlo. I'm a product specialist at 4 and a half, and I will be your presenter today. As this coffee break is live, you can ask your questions via the GoToWebinar question window. We will answer them at the end of the coffee break. Today, we are going to use a JavaScript record to calculate a total amount and use that amount in various places in a sales invoice layout. Specifically, we want the header of an invoice to show the total amount which is discounted on that invoice. Additionally, we want the invoice body to reflect whether there are any discounted lines at all. To be precise, we don't need to see the discount column if uh, nothing is being discounted. Uh, and lastly, we're going to edit the layout to reflect this dynamically using the onPrint property of the Fornap designer. To demonstrate how to calculate and use totals in Business Central reports, I am going to use these steps. Step one, prerequisites, what do I need to get going? In step two, we will add a JavaScript record to keep track of the discounted amount. In step three, we are going to display the sum value in the, uh, in the document header. And in the fourth step, we will set up the discount column to be hidden when there is no discount at all on the current invoice. Finally, as a bonus feature, I will condition the layout itself to display differently when a discount is applied. Let's start with the first step. For today's presentation, I am using a Business Central Docker environment with the Business Central 2023 Wave 1 release. I have installed the Universal Code 4NAV Customizable Report Pack extension, version 7.1, and I have executed the step-by-step -step wizard from the assisted setup to get started. Of course, everything I do today is also possible on the 4NAV Customizable Report Pack extension for Business Central Cloud. I also have the 4NAV Designer installed on my PC. The 4NAV Designer can be downloaded from the 4NAV website. For today's exercise, I want to have a field in my invoice which displays the sum amount which is discounted on all the lines together. I can't really use the data item line for that in the first place because I can't call on the data item line in the header, but also because it's not all that easy to actually calculate the sum, field, uh, the sum total of a field in a data item. The way of least resistance is to create a data record, which I can access from anywhere in my report. I will now demonstrate this. I will start in, for, in Business Central. I will go to Fornav, Standard Reports, download the invoice layout. Open it in the designer. And what comes up should be just the familiar standard invoice. I'll zoom in a bit. So I want to display something from the lines table, line data item in the header. Now, normally I can't do that, but when I create, when I just go to the Report Explorer and click the top level or just click in the gray area outside the, the layout, I get the report properties and I can click next to records and add a record. As I said, I want information from the sales invoice line table and I want to link it to the header that's here already. Now Fornav knows you probably want to connect the document number to the document number which you do because otherwise I would be confused as to which uh, which fields I get, records I get. Now I, last thing I do is I'll change the name to something like total discount amounts. Now, this data record, the data record we are now creating, is almost exactly the same as the existing data record called line. The information is pretty much the same, but there are two key differences. The first is, I can use information or fields from this data record almost anywhere in the report instead of merely in its own section, in its own data item. The second is we can use JavaScript functions 
to play around with the values in the data record and use the results for example by adding together uh, adding values together and displaying the results giving it a specific name helps me identify this record uh, as a record i created instead of sales invoice line 2 or whatever it would be uh, and later it can remind me what I created the record for. So I, I created this record to keep track of the total discount amount. Now that we've added the record, total discount amount, we want to use it. We want to display the sum discounted amount in the header. I'll go back to the designer and I'll unlock this section. So I can add stuff to it and make it fun. Now, to start, I will go to the total discount amount field extensions and drag the line discount amount. I don't know if you can see it, it's maybe a bit small. The line discount amount. And I will drag that field extension somewhere in the header. Make it a bit bigger, bigger and give it a nice color, let's say Misty Rose. Now this displays uh, the caption and the first record that it finds in the table, which is nice, but it's not what we want. We want the sum of all the records in the table. And to do that, Pornav comes with a handy JavaScript function called sum. To access it, I can go to the source expression here, or I can click here. Let's just use this one, and it opens the JavaScript editor. So this is the total discount amount field extensions line discount amount, and I just at the end say sum, and this adds together all the values. Of that field extension and it works on records and it uses the field extensions. Uh, the only thing is it, uh, 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 it gets rid of the captions so now I'll just add the caption again so I don't confuse myself. Just there at the front, make it a bit bigger because it's a long caption. Make it Misty Rose as well. And now we've uh, added the sum to the header, prepared some invoices, line discount amount 20. It shows, well, it's also the, 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 the percentages match also, but it's 20. And next one is zero, it doesn't, oh, and next one is uh, sorry, next one is five, and it also matches the discount. So that's a, a neat little feature. Let's go back. to the next step. Now, I already gave away a bit of the trick. Uh, I don't really like an empty discount column on my invoices because customers may see it and they may get ideas. So if there isn't any discount on my invoice, I don't want to display that column. And the trick is a bit ruined because Pornav is already set up to do this. I'll just pretend. We can all just pretend that you just didn't see me edit this show output. The show output property of the design, the easiest way to do this would be to check if any lines have any discount entries. And if so, display the column, and if not, then hide it. The show output property of the designer can do this if I give it some uh, uh, value that returns true or false. This is the, uh, now it says true, so it will display. If I said false, then it would definitely not display. And if I give it some JavaScript, that returns true or false, a conditional JavaScript, um, well, not even that, it's just a check uh, in JavaScript, then it could return true or false as the case may be. 
but I don't know enough JavaScript to manually program an entire check of every record if there are multiple, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But luckily, I don't have to. I can use the same entry that we had before, not in lines, the total discount amount, field extensions, go to line discount amount dot sum. And this gives the value, we saw that, it gives a value of, uh, of the entire sum. That's not a, a, a Boolean check in itself, but I can check this against zero. I can check, is this sum not the same as zero? And if it's not the same as zero, then it returns true. And if it is the same as zero, then it returns false. That's a nice little trick. Now let's give it a nice color again because we changed something in this. And preview. Preview, zoom in, so it should show here, it does show here. It shouldn't show here because there apparently are no discounted amounts. And oh, now it's made it pink because we made it pink. So it is hidden, but it's pink, which uh, means we can still see that something was there, which I don't like. Um, how can I change this? Let's see, we can condition the layout. First things first, let's change it back to transparent. Transparent. Another property in the designer is on print, which is right here above the show output property. This property allows you to run JavaScript when the script is triggered, in this case on print, when the thing gets printed. We want that property to change the background color of the column if some trigger is activated, for example if the discount amount sum is not zero. We want that for the actual discount column, but let's say we also want it for the unit price column next to it. So we selected all of them because you can select multiple things and change the property at the same time. Click on print, opens the JavaScript editor. And again, we can go to total discount amount, field extensions, uh, line discount amount, double click, dot sum. Now we have the same value. We want to check if it isn't the same as zero. But this just returns either true or false. This doesn't really change the layout in any way. We want it to change something if it is true or false, as the case may be. So I want to say, if that thing is true, then, and now I'm going to use a control that only works in this trigger, the curl control, because it allows me to change the uh, uh, certain things about the layout. And in this case, I wanted to change the back color. And I wanted to change to that nice color, Misty Rose. And that's it. I can just, well, let's add the semicolon before people fall over themselves. Click OK. And preview. Preview. Zoom in. Line discount amount. It has value. The column is shown. Both are pink. Line discount amount is zero. The column is hidden and the unit price is not pink. And a line discount amount, it has value. The column is shown and both are pink. The invoice now looks much better. The columns are present and Misty Rose column, uh, Misty Rose colored when there is a discounted line. And when there is no discount, it doesn't do the weird things. So let's recap what we just did. 
we wanted to show the sum amount being discounted in an invoice. We used the Fornav designer to add a data record to the sales invoice layout, and then we added a text box to the header to display the sum of the discount amount values. We used the show output property in the designer to show or hide the discount column in the body of the invoice based on the sum value of the discount account. And finally, we changed the on print property in the designer to change the color of the discount and the unit price columns, also based on the sum value of the discount amount. Thank you for listening to me so far. Let's see if we have any questions. Doesn't look like it at the moment. I'll give you a few more moments. Uh, if you want to know more about Fornav, or if you want to download the Fornav designer and converter, please visit our website, fornav.com. If you want to install Fornav in Business Central Cloud, please visit the Microsoft App Source. You can watch more videos about Fornav on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Fornav Reports. And if you have any questions about Fornav, please email them to support at fornav.com. For a full list of upcoming and recorded coffee breaks, please visit fornav.com slash coffee breaks. And we have no further questions, so I can just say thank you very much for listening and goodbye.